So, with the next generation of hardware not being able to truly support our next generation dream of 1080p at 60 frames per second natively, it makes the PC seem more and more appealing every day. And with the new 4K standard coming on the rise, it makes the gaming PC seem a hell of a lot more better than a next generation console. So, I've made a gaming PC build for all of you guys who want to make the switch from console to PC for the price of the Xbox One and accessories such as one year of Xbox Live and one game. So overall this is going to be a $620 gaming PC build, so let's get started. So we're going to begin the build with the CPU and that's going to be the AMD Athlon X4 750K 3.4GHz quad core processor. So this is basically an AMD 6800 APU but with the internal graphics disabled, which basically makes it a regular CPU. Now this is going to be a quad core CPU clocked to 3.4 GHz, which keep in mind is going to be a substantially higher than the Xbox One's clock speed, moving from 1.6 GHz to 3.4 GHz, which is going to be a 2 times substantial difference. Now, you can do some moderate overclocking on this PC, nothing too extreme, but if you want to do anything past 4 GHz, I highly recommend that you get a dedicated air cooler or liquid cooling solution, as this is not included in the build initially, but you can always add things to your PC build later. So for the first partner build, it'll cost you generally $85. So for the memory, we decided to choose 8GB of G-Skill Sniper DDR3 memory. So this RAM from G-Skill is generally the RAM that I would overall really recommend to anyone who ever asked me to build them a PC. Not because of personal bias or anything, because this is generally some of the best RAM DIMMs that you will ever find on the market, and we were able to cram in 8GB of the stuff. Now, this RAM is going to be clocked at 1600 MHz, which is going to be more than enough for the performance of games of the current and most likely the next generation for the future to come. Overall, this RAM will be great for general use and gaming due to the large memory allocation at 8GB, and we'll be putting the starting price for this piece in the build right around $65. So for the motherboard we'll be adding an ASRock FM2 A75 Pro 4M. So this motherboard is great for the price as it does offer a lot of the features that we do need and none that we necessarily won't need from some of the higher end motherboards. And some of the features it'll be giving us is SATA 3 support in case you ever want to get a SSD one day and hook it up to your SATA 3 drive. It'll be much better than hooking it up to the SATA 2 drive to give you much faster performance and USB 3.0 for very very fast USB connections. Now for this component in the PC build, it'll cost you generally around $70. So for the power supply, you'll be getting a Corsair CX600 600 watt power supply. I personally actually tried to avoid adding the CX600 watt power supply into my gaming PC builds overall. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'd prefer to choose a power supply of a little bit higher build quality overall. But this is going to be a great power supply for this build as it is going to be offering you 600 watts. It's a little bit, uh, leaves you a little bit with a little, little bit of overhead for your uh, power supply, your graphics card, and all your other components. And it'll be sure to power them all successfully. Overall, the CX600 is a reliable, quiet, and efficient power supply for the value overall. So for this particular component in the PC build, it's going to round you up for at around $70. Finally, for the graphics card, we're going to be adding in a Sapphire Radeon 7950 3GB graphics card. So the price performance ratio on this graphics card is just out of this world, as it's coming with 3GB of onboard video memory alongside a 384-bit width bus, and this game can definitely handle any game that you throw at it at 1080p at ultra settings at a decent frame rate. Now, keep in mind that the price to performance ratio that comes with this graphics card is the price and what you get alongside with it. Now, if you do if you do get this graphics card, the AMD Radeon 7950 3GB, you should get a voucher that comes with a Radeon Gold Reward. And this Gold Reward will allow you to choose three of the free games that they have selected for you, such as Tomb Raider, Hitman, Devil May Cry, Watch Dogs, Far Cry 3, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, Deus Ex, Dirt 3, and Dirt Showdown. Now for price for performance, it's generally a great addition to the build. All around it should cost you around $240. Now for the hard drive, we're going to be throwing in a 500GB Western Digital Caviar Blue. Now Western Digital makes some great hard drives, and this one is no exception. Now this may not be the black edition, but it's definitely good enough. It may not give you the speed of an SSD, but that's generally what's to be expected with a mechanical hard drive, as an SSD has no spinning platters on the inside. But for storing your games, movies, and digital media all together with solid performance and reliability for everyday computing, this is generally going to be a great, great hard drive for around $60. And to top off the bill, we're going to finish it with the NZXT Source 210. Now the reason I chose the NZXT Source 210 is because it's the one, one PC case that you can get on Newegg right now that's not absolute crap. 
Now this case is a mid tower ATX case, so you will be able to have some upgrade options in the future. Maybe you wanna actually go for one of those more expensive motherboards. You'll have the freedom, the option, and the ability to upgrade to an ATX motherboard if you'd like. Overall, this is gonna be a great case for beginners. It has a sleek and stylish design, and it's gonna be starting right around $40. So there you have it, a gaming PC build for the price of the Xbox One plus accessories. Now the overall price of this gaming PC build is going to be $649.92 on Newegg. But keep in mind that prices are constantly fluctuating as this PC build was actually literally $622 5 minutes ago and now it's actually $649. But yeah, if you guys appreciated this or like this PC build and you want to see more PC builds from me in the future, then be sure to subscribe, leave a like, share it with your friends. I'll also have a PC part picker link in the description below so you can find all of these components at cheaper prices. Alright guys, Zaboni dude, I'll see you guys in the next video.